Hello, everybody. This is Cindy with Cindy's Traveling Crafts. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm killing time before our DP up on. Okay, and that's going to be the Halloween edition of the DP a thon. So, happy Halloween early. Um, I decided to put together this little kit and I'm going to be working on this moon and trees autumn thing where the moon looks like a skull. So, yeah, kind of a Halloween y theme. Because the one Halloween canvas that I did have, I've already completed. So, this is going to be a how to. My version of a how to. Um, got the canvas. Got the drills. I've got my tray. Pair of scissors. Small washi tape. Storage containers. This canvas has 13 colors. This holds 24. Um, well, it has yeah, 24 containers in it but anyway won't be using all those I hope so this is going to be how I kit things up how I do things um it's a how-to for beginners I am not a professional by any means any means okay but I've had a lot of people say well how do you do your paintings or whatever now mind you this is a tiny canvas compared to Say a Swan Lake one. This does not have the size on it at all. Let me see. Do I have? Yep, I happen to have a tape measure. So let's see. And this is in inches, so it's a nine, nine by nine, nine inches by nine inches, so. It'll do the job. Everybody calls this snack, calls them snacks. I call them preludes to a snack because snack is at 35, 30 by 40 centimeters to me. So, yeah, that's how that goes. So, anyhow, I've had people ask me about this, about how do I store my drills, which I am in the process right now of uploading the information on my storage containers, how I store my drills when I save the drills, and containers like say container here. So I figured I would go from beginning of what I do all the way up to where I actually start doing the diamond painting itself. Now this canvas does not have DMC codes. However, the drills themselves Beside this number, it has the DMC code, which this one is 817. So I will be saving these colors. And I usually store those. And let's see if I've got any running around loose in here. I have these. Yep, I've got some tiny ones. I just got to take them out. I'll store them in little bitty Ziploc bags like this. And then... And throw the other drills on the ground. We're doing good. Because these are round. They're going to go in with the rest of the rounds. But once I'm done with the canvas. Any drills I have left. I'll individually bag them. Write down their DMC number on this. Or on a label and stick it on this. And then I'll look in my files here. Find the corresponding number. Which we'll do like I gotta keep them separated with my finger, which I have the number wrote on the card itself. And then I'll store that bag behind that said number and go from there. And that's how I do that. But okay. Mm. So, with this being a how to, I'm gonna also show y'all some information on this. 
not all canvases will have this. Uh, for instance, Star Wars, which really it irks me. Um, I like it when they give us a. I call it the canvas's serial number, but the zero one six nine. It's the number of the canvas, and most times your drills will have it somewhere on the packaging. That way, it's easy to find which drills go which, with what canvas. So this is 0169, and this right here, this right here, 0169. It's got the number on the packaging. So I know this goes with this canvas. Alrighty. But before I go any further with drills, I'm going to show y'all the washi tape. Now I do have a video uh, it's called the washi tape method. It's where we section off this and all to work in little bigger sections. To me it keeps the rest of the canvas clean and neat while you're working in one area. You're not getting hairs. Like me I have a dog that loves to shed and I hate getting those dog hairs in the canvas. Okay and this being clear cover it is poured glue and you can look at it and tell plus poured glue to me is super sticky so I like that so I'm using this thinner washi tape then I'm usually use which is something sparkly like this say the difference in the size yeah so I'm gonna go with XOXO which can stand for love or hate X marks the spot for the bullseye. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and square this off. I'm going to do four squares. So, stick around. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even. I just usually go, okay, like right here. And I'll follow the line of numbers across. This one looks like it's going to be a square. It looks like squares, but it's actually round. Well, that's just rude. I want a square. Oh, well. Okay, now it's sectioned off in half. Turn it and do the same thing. Go the other way. Again, follow the numbers. It gives you somewhat neat organized lines. And then on the tape, I'll fold over a little piece of it. That way it's easier to find. Just like so. And then put that in with the rest of my washi tape. And that's how I square it off. Now this side's bigger than this side. Again, it's not perfect, not meant to be perfect. It's just, I'm doing this for me. These are for days I just want to work on a little. This is what I want to work on a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what did I do with it? My exacto knife. Now, my sister, she'll cut beside the tape. I usually cut right down the middle of the tape. Now, if you press in too hard, you will go through the canvas. But if you do, just get you a piece of tape, such as duct tape or something like that, put on the back of it, and continue going. The diamonds will cover up the cut. So we're good. I'm not going to cut this right yet. Give me a little bit on that. Now, again, she cuts right beside it. Not That's using the X-Acto knife. You can take you a pair of scissors and do that and then stick it back down. Your choice, again, your canvas, your rules, right? Right. <laughs> now, on these containers, I've already went ahead and put labels on them, which I can peel off. Um, I even put a label on the case. However, I want to show y'all something. I have regular Sharpies that I can write on those with. I also have this wet erase. Expo Visa Visa, which is for writing with like on um, projector films and stuff like that. And you take wet cloth, wipe it off, it's clean, which works for this. 
scribble on there, let it dry, and it doesn't want to come off. However, you wet your finger or whatever, and it comes right up. Not a problem. So, sometimes I'll use this, sometimes the Sharpie. All depends on what mood I'm in. And I just stained my finger. We're good. <coughs> so. <coughs> Excuse me while I get me something to drink for my dry cut mouth. Get out of here. This is not a plug. I am not a sponsor whatsoever, but it's Dark Berry, Dr. Pepper. Oh my God. I'm addicted. And it's limited edition thing, so I'm sitting here going, please do not discontinue it because I'm addicted to it. Just like the great value that you get at Walmart, um, great value tortilla chips, they are spicy guacamole. Oh my word. I can live off of those things. Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah. I squirreled. Now, sometimes you'll get canvases that have little bitty oopsies on their canvas. Like this. And I usually take a pair of scissors and trim it off. Throw the excess out. If you're careful, it won't hurt nothing. <laughs> so on these now on my last video which I am currently in the process of uploading I talked about the differences between the rounds versus the squares I didn't go into full 100% detail but anyway you got round then you got square that's simple these are round however when I was talking about the drills I did not inform y'all about the fact that Sometimes you'll have them to where there's so much static in them, the drills will stick to the bags and not want to come out. Get you a dryer sheet or some of those um, fabric crystals that uh, you put into the wash and put a piece of the dryer sheet in the container or whatever and it'll help get rid of the static. Then again, you get some that will have oil or water. Usually it's oil of some sort from the machine that makes these. In the packaging and when you get those it's a pain in the butt because you got to clean them and to me I found that using a uh, baby wipes works just great you take a baby wipe you lay it down you pour your drills out as flat as you can get where they're not stacked up on each other and I take another baby wipe sit on top of that rub it around a little bit sit it let it sit flip it over as well as you can without spilling them and then do the same thing on the other side. And then have a piece of uh, paper towel to let them sit and dry on. That's, to me, has been the easiest way. So, just FYI, that stuff does happen. And then sometimes you have in the containers. I know I saw one while ago. You will have what we refer to as stowaways. May have been imagining, but sometimes you'll have like this bright red color, and then off in the bright red, you'll have a black. Yeah, just go with it. Now, this again has 13 colors, and I know I'm crinkling a lot, but what I like to do is go ahead and separate those, but I want to keep them in an order so it's easier for me to kit up. I know this is kind of boring, but this is just the way I do things. And I haven't done a kid up with me video, so why not, right? See as how I figured I've gotten a few of my friends hooked on this. Thank you, Barbara, by the way. She's the one that got me started on this. I don't know if she watches my videos, but anyway, thank you, Barbara. You rock. I love this craft. I got my little sister hooked on it, and in turn, both me and her got our older sister, Mindy, hooked on it, and recently, I've gotten my neighbor and her daughter hooked on it, so, yay me. Um, now, 
there are different ways I can take this and get them into those. But what I like to do when I'm using these is I'll take my tray, which this is from Archer Arts. It's a uh, people I've found on Facebook through other creators. I love this tray. It's my favorite tray. <laughs> but what I like to do in case I spill, I'll put these containers because they fit in here just perfect. And I'll pour straight from the bag into there. And if I spill anything, this has a handy dandy spout, which I can pour off into the container. So let's go. like that now uh, I'm not sure what I did with that I think it's over in the storage drawer I do have a sticker maker if we was to get a code like on here it's got the number and the color coding which is number one is number one so forth so on and then you got from 10 down is alphabet A B C D so, anyhow, where it's got the DMC number, on some we'll have it listed on there. If that's the case, I will take my printer, copier, um, and make a copy of this, cut it out, and run it through a sticker maker, and I'll use those stickers to put in this place instead, which one day I'll have to do a, vi a video on how to with that, but Anyhow, uh, let's see, do I have that handy? Give me a sec. I might have something handy to be able to show y'all what I'm talking about. Somewhat show you, anyhow. You hold that. Why? Yes, yes, we do. Okay. Uh, some companies you'll have them to where they give you the schematic. Well, this has the number, the symbol, and beside it, the DMC number. Now, I have a sticker maker, which I will run this through. And when it comes out, it turns this into stickers to where you can cut those into the drawer and put them on the containers. So, there's that. <laughs> yeah, I was so glad that was right beside me. I'll have to do a video on how to make the stickers. But for now, that's what you're getting. So what I'm going to do on this, because this has got the DMC numbers, I'm going to use the Visa Visa. This is number one, so I'm going to write that in one corner. And over in the other corner at the bottom, I'm going to write what the DMC number is, which is 817. So when I go to my... Now I don't know what I do with the bag. Well, crap. Oh, well. So when I go to, when I finish this and I have these left and I go to store them into the Ziploc bags, I'll know what the number is without having to go, what's the number? Because there's no DMC code on the canvas. And that way I don't have to save all these packages. Because that gets annoying. Because I prefer to take the packages once they're done like that and trash them. And then we're going to move on to number two. And the same thing. Put the two in one corner. Bottom corner. DMC code of 939. Which is a navy blue. It's almost black. Black is 310. So yeah. But this is pretty much. How I go about. Kitting up. Um. Yeah. Get in the container. Oh, I found that still away earlier. What did I do with the tweezers? Okay, where that's 939 is a navy blue, almost black. You do, however, get stowaways, which doesn't want to come out of there. Get your butt out of there. This bright red was in that. So, yeah. Let's stick that on the paper so I put that with my other stuff. Put the lid back on that. 
Now we're going to go on to number three. Which is 3047 is DMC code. Again, this makes it a lot easier for me to add them into my storage system. I like my storage system. It works great. And when someone says, I'm looking for rounds on this. Does anybody have one? If so, can you send it to me? I can go, hold on, let me look. And it doesn't take but a minute, and I'll look, and I'll say, yes, I've got this, and I'll send it to you. So... It helps me out, helps whoever needs them out. So it's all good. Now, sometimes using these little containers, you'll have more in the bag than the container will hold. And sometimes they'll be side by side on the same row. And if that's the case, I'll put the number on this and leave the next one blank. However, if it's on one row and then continues into the next row, I'll put the number and the DMC code on both. So, and you have these that want to stick up in the corner. Stuck up drills. Yep. I call them stuck up. And there is one row kitted up. And then put it back in the container and start with a fresh row. Um, this is number five. DMC number of 720. Now, Ginger, my little sister, her favorite number DMC is 550. Mine is 820. Mine is a blue color. Of course, blue is my favorite color. So, of course it's going to be a blue. But there's so many colors in these kits that I am amazed by how vibrant they are. That I love them almost as much as the 820. And that's saying something because I am a blueaholic. <laughs> so, yeah. On to number six, which is 919. So I'm not sure if anybody really wanted to see a kit up video, how to video, or what, but I'm like, why not? Maybe I'll help somebody. Who knows? You know, you may have a friend that you're wanting to get started on this and it's hard for you to explain how to do something so you're like oh wait i know this video of where they show how to do all this that would be my video <laughs> all right number seven which is 977 and y'all may hear in the background my dog is scratching and chewing at herself and it's driving me up the wall but i don't want to yell at her because i'm making a video so yeah there's that. Again, I am not a professional at any of this by any means. I'm just doing what I know to do to try to help others. All right, number eight, DMC code of 3777. And that looks like a nine, but it's a seven. My writing sucks. See, this one's going to be difficult to get all of them in. So, sometimes you can tell just by picking the bag up. And I just built some. Which is a good thing. That way I can show y'all what I'm in. I'm getting the drills. Okay, see, I spilt them, but they spilt inside this tray. Which means it is only one, so I can just pick it up. But once it does that, 
you take your tray and it goes right in there. Ta da! And another row. Just get it. So, on to number nine, which is 435 DMC code. But anyway, my neighbor that I kind of got started on this, my son and her son are best of friends. And evidently he was telling her about this craft that I do, whatnot, because his mom likes doing puzzles. She's, yeah, a puzzle I'll I need to do with the top part of that. Oh, I already threw it away. Anyhow, um, so he was, they were telling about what I do with this, and she's like, oh, really? So he gave her my YouTube name, and she started watching my YouTube videos. So, hi. I don't know exactly how that all went down, but, yep. Anyway, she's addicted to the craft now. <laughs> According to her son, she's majorly addicted to it so <laughs> sorry but welcome to the addiction um i love this craft i don't do it as much as i would like to because again work sleep repeat yep that's the thing but i was like well maybe i can help her out and if she finds people that want to know what she's doing you know in her circle she can say this is how you do it so yeah anyway that was number 10 dmc code of 3371 <coughs> we're almost done we're going on to number 11 <coughs> i'm still trying to get rid of this cough anyway the dmc code is 3863 which this is going to come in handy if I can't read my own right and I'll go back later and watch a video and say, okay, that's what that was. <coughs> kind of helps me out. <laughs> and I just built another one. I'm doing good on this, huh? Bottom dollar. Get in there. Thank you. I have a trash can over to the side. That's where I've been putting this. Okay, we're at number 12, which DMC code of 839. So, we're almost at the end. Just saying. Now, in the morning, which is in a few hours, me and my sister will be going live for the October dp -a -thon. Yeah. So ready for that. So ready for that. Get to talk with me, peeps. All right. We're on number 13, and the DMC code is 838. Which is also the last color that we have to put in to our little containers. Just like so. You see, that one only takes one. But. There's the colors. I don't know how well y'all can see because this is a computer and it's angled down. So it may be blurry if it is. I'm so sorry. Please forgive. 
Okay, now that we've got this, the drills for this, into the kits, I'm going to go to the front of this container, and the title of this one is just Skull. So, I have a label on here, and I wrote Skull. And that's how I'll be if I have to stop this and set this in my bookshelf. Because these I set in the bookshelf. These I set into a folder that I made. That I made this folder. I'll put those in it. But I've got another one over there that's empty right now that I put the ones I'm working on in. So one, it keeps the canvases flat. And easy to get to. And this goes in the bookshelf. So I'll pull it out and say, okay, that's the skull that goes with this. However, what I could do or should do is got the number 0169. That way, that number matches that number on the canvas. That way, I know for sure those two go together. Now, I'll put my extra stuff up. This, I'm not going to use the scissors because I don't like using the scissors for this part. Do, 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 do. Exacto knife. Translation, razor blade, sharp. So what I do is I'll go to the bottom of this and I'll press in just a little bit and then Pull till it goes all the way to the end of the plastic. Put the lid back on. Safety first. Now I pull this. Now doing it this way, where I cut down the washi tape. One, the washi tape lets me know this is the top of the plastic, and that's the bottom. Because sometimes when you pull the plastic off without that, you got to put it back down, you put it on the wrong side, and it's so hard, almost impossible, to get that off of there. Just saying. So, I'm going to do like this. Here. I am going to use cover minder because this plastic does not want to cooperate with me. Reminders pants. Well, this one, when I was making it, it got a piece of paper stuck there and it's white and it's right in the center. So I'm not selling that one because it looks like it's bad. Just saying. And then we open this and you choose. There's no random logic for me. I'm just like, okay, what color looks good to me? Um, what do I want to do? And number two is calling out to me, which is this blue. And I pull my Drill tray, take out the colors, and pour some in. I don't pour a whole heap and bunch in there, but what I do on these, again, this is where this comes in handy. I leave this there and leave this in there, and this open. This will help keep this from spilling over, but I do that so I, I have a bad memory. That'll let me know which one I'm working on. And if I need more, it's easier to get to. And shake this out. And there's another stowaway. Too bad I already put those up. Another bright red stowaway. See? Add that to the paper. I'm going to use... My pen from Jim's handmade drill pen. Oh, no. What is over here making that noise, but it needs to cut it out. Probably a darn rat. But anyway, you shake them out in the tray, and what it does is it'll flatten these out to where the rounded part is up and the flat is down, which makes it easy for you to use your pen, whether you're using the single placer or the multi-placer, to pick up your drills. 
Now, because there are some one place here that only needs one, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna place it on there in the glue. Right here to it. There is something inside my wall that's driving me nuts. Sorry. We're going to do it again because there's another lonely single one right there. And I'm just going to fill in those single ones real fast. Well, not really fast because I'm not fast at this. I just I work at my own speed. Each person has their own routine on how to do this and how to do that. So, again, if you do end up trying this for all the new people to the craft, of diamond painting if you like it and you decide you're going to continue doing this craft you will pick up your own tips and your own stuff to be able to work at your own pace to where you're happy again it's your artwork that you're doing you've got to be happy with it yourself right right so now what i am doing now is i'm using the multi-placer to pick up more than one drill. Now this one right here is a four placer. This is my favorite multi placer. It is thin. Um, do I have any thick ones right beside me? I have so many multi placers, but they're all over the place. So I think it's in these drawers. Again, I've got storage areas galore all over the place. Well, y'all aren't supposed to be in there. I was supposed to be in with the other stuff. So I'll have to move y'all. I got drills for another canvas. I was going to show you all the difference in some of these because there are more than one type of multi placers and these are the thinner of them let's see do I have something here well I have a three placer with a big end on it so I'll show you all that okay I do with it. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's a four placer too. Oh well. Here's a four placer, and this is a three placer. Now see the difference in the thickness of those and how it's made. I like this kind better than this kind. So, these are my favorite. So, that's the kind I use. But again, it's personal preference, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> now, I have multi placers that start at three placers all the way up to 15 placers. But out of all of them, these are my favorites. Now, there is such thing as color blocking, and then there's such thing as confetti. This canvas right here I'm looking at has a little bit of both. Now this big area right here of one number, that's color blocking. And then when you have this area, which is a bunch of different numbers all clustered together, that's confetti. So this has kind of got the best of both worlds. And that's a kind of canvas I can hang with. Now on these four placers, I like to... When I need to, I'll only pick up two drills at a time and place them where they need to be. And then when I need four, I'll pick up four and place those down, just like so. And this is how we diamond paint. For those of you just now starting out or you're just curious about what it is that we're referring to, this has been literally clinically proven to help reduce stress. Um, a couple of people I know 
started doing this and their blood pressure went way down. Well, not way down. It went down to where it's a healthy level, which is a good thing. It keeps your mind occupied and it's got bright, bright vibrant colors. You know, it's just, to me, it's a win-win because it helps you relax. Plus, once you're done, you have a beautiful piece of art when it's complete. So, yay, win-win. And then you have the joys of sharing it with people and they're like, what are you doing? And then you show them what you do and they're like, I want to try. And they try and then boom, they're addicted. Yep. That's how it works. So. And I absolutely love this. This is an amazing craft. And I love sharing it with other people. And going from there. So. I'm not sure if my video is recording, but my, my video on my computer is wonky. <coughs> but there's the how-to of it. and Hopefully you got something out of this video. If not, I apologize. Um, and usually I get a little goofy, so I'm going to try to save all the goofiness for when we go live early this morning. So, yeah. As soon as Gigi gets home, we're going to get it all set up and ready and go from there. I haven't made this many videos in a while, so ha ah. Especially with it not being an unboxing or an unbagging. Ha ha. Yep. But again, work your canvases at your own pace. Enjoy the work don't rush it oh um, by the way they make great gifts for christmas and birthdays any kind of holiday you know for like me and my sisters i know what they're getting for christmas all i gotta do is go shopping and say "Ooh, they'll like this or "Ooh, they'll like that and order it you see what i mean so anyway i'm gonna call an end to this because i want to save some of this for doing the halloween version of the pathon um but y'all stay safe in all you do. Stay true to you. Bye.